Hello friends near and far, this is Veronica. Welcome to my channel where we like to do more and spend less. And I hope you have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, come on, subscribe. I, I need to get those numbers up because I would love to have a community tab to share more information with you guys. But for now, you can follow me on Instagram at Veronica Sid. Um, the O is a zero because it was already taken. So follow me on Instagram and then I could be sharing some more information, more things until we get that community tab. So once we get to 500 subbies, we will have our community tab. Um, today, today I'm going to reveal to you the stuff I got at the Rebecca Minkoff sample sale. If you didn't watch my last video, go back and watch it so you can see uh, what they had at the Rebecca Minkoff sample sale. Um, I'm a fan of Rebecca Minkoff and, um, you know, luckily I live in, well, I don't live in Los Angeles anymore, but I do live near the Los Angeles area. And um, they had a sample sale in New York, Los Angeles. Um, those two cities tend to have a lot of good sample sales, which like I said, I'm lucky um, and uh, privileged to live near enough that I could go to some of those sample sales. I went. Um, I did go on the last day, and if you see, um, when I walked in, there was a sign that said extra 20% off, which was an even better deal, right? But because I did go on the last day of the sample, so that meant that the stock and the things they had were limited or basically just whatever was left, that was it. Um, I had been following um, the company that does these sales. So there's two major companies that do the sample sales. Sometimes they have online sample sales. So if you want to follow them, it's called Eclipse Sample Sale and 260 Sample Sale. They do New York, they do LA. Um, I've been to sales for both of those pl uh, companies. So basically it's like um, agency kind of that runs sample sales for different brands because we know we know Rebecca Minkoff ain't got time for that. <laughs> um, so these brands hire these agencies, these companies, and they put together the sample sales for them. So um, like I said, I went to the one in LA and I had been following the Instagram account and they were showing, you know, showing you what was available. So I got super excited when I saw what they had available, but because I went on the last day, a lot of the things were already gone, sold out which is to be expected, but I did get an even bigger discount because I went on the last day. So let's get to it. Um, like I said in my video, I had been about maybe five, five, six years ago, I had gone to the Rebecca Minkoff sale that was run by 260 sample sales in Beverly Hills. Amazing, amazing. They had a lot of good things. Um, I bought a couple things back then um, so it seemed like this time they had a little bit less bags and things from Rebecca Minkoff because they were also selling uh, some other items from other brands, which you will see in that video. So make sure you go back and watch that video. Okay, enough, enough chit chatting, yapping. You guys are probably like, show us the goods. So I'm going to show you the goods. Ta-da, this big old bag, just a plain white bag they give you. Um, the sample sale was free and they encourage, um, getting like a ticket, uh, to ensure you didn't have to wait in line. They had like time slots between like, you know, 11 and 12, one and two, two and three, three and four and so on. So I did do that, but the day we went was the last day, not super busy, um, so we just walked right in. I didn't even need to show my tickets or anything. Um, they did take cash and credit card, uh, but it was um, kind of paperless. So my receipt came via email, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I got. So I'm going to show you. If you saw my video, there was these uh, boots that I had seen on her website that she had been promoting since the fall on her Instagram, Rebecca Minkoff's Instagram. And when I saw they had them there, oh my God, I was so 
excited, but sadly they only had one pair. Um, not my size. I did try to squeeze into them because they were a size smaller. Um, the man said, well, maybe you could stretch them out. No, I couldn't even get my foot into them. But anyways, I didn't get the boots. And that's another thing with some of these sample sales. Um, the sizing can be limited. They might only have one or two of a certain item. So don't expect to always go and find uh, things in your size or a lot of the same thing. Sometimes they might just have one or two. Um, I've been to sample sales where they just have like one pair of one shoe and that's it. Like people fight over it. Um, these boots, I guess, didn't fit anybody or they had other sizes. But the day I went, they didn't have my size. Um, and it's funny because a lot of the sizes were either really smaller or a little bit bigger. I'm a size eight and a half. So that's, I guess, like the average size so sometimes it's hard for me to find not that it's hard for me to find shoes but find deals on shoes in my size okay but I did get a pair of shoes this was actually the only pair that they had in my size eight and a half um and I did like them so last year Rebecca Minkoff did a collaboration with Sperry um, Sperry is a shoe brand. They do like top cider deck type shoes, which I've had before and I do like. And I had seen some of the her Sperry Rebecca Minkoff shoes and I thought, oh, those were pretty cool. You know, they're a little funky. Uh, I'm into kind of like funky. Um, some people call them ugly shoes, but you know, so I did get the box. And I was pretty surprised that a lot of the things, a lot of the shoes actually came with the boxes and were, you know, still wrapped. So there they are. They are the, it says high top sneaker in color tan, which is more like a animal print, like cheetah print. Cheetah or leopard? No, I think this is more of a cheetah. <sighs> there they are. Yes, they actually look really pretty cool. So they're kind of like a sneaker, but like a boot. Um, they they are leather, like a not really a suede, but kind of like a new book leather. I don't know. I don't know the names. Um, and it had this cool zipper detail in the front, which I thought was very cool. And then this was like one of the reasons I said, you know what, even better. A zipper in the back, so easy to get in and out of. You just zip them up. You don't have to undo them in the front. Zipper, very cool. Um, these on her website and the Sperry website retailed for like $150, $159. Um, I got them for, they were $75. So all the boot shoes were... $75 and with the extra 20% off, I think they came out to like around $60. So not bad at all. So I got these, which I'm excited to wear um, because yeah, they're cute, comfortable and easy to get in and out of with the zipper in the back. Okay, so um, I was going to say, this is my first pair of Rebecca Minkoff shoes, but I'm lying. I did buy a pair of sandals at, a, at of all places, Ross Dress for Less, um, a few years ago for $12. So don't sleep on looking for designers in other places because you just never know. They're right here. <laughs> so yeah, I got these a couple years back. Um... Rebecca Minkoff, I don't know if you can see, cute little sandals, $12. These were not from the sample sale, these were from Ross, but just wanted to show you, you know, not only, she doesn't only make bags and accessories, she also has shoes and clothing. Sadly, none of her clothes fit me because, you know, I'm a plus size girl and she hasn't, you know, come into the world of plus size. So I think, I think I need to tweet her, email her. 
Instagram or DM her. Yeah, we need some plus size. Plus size Rebecca Minkoff clothes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the bag I got. I don't know if you guys could tell from my video which bag I got. Ta-da! Oh, my God, you guys. This is a Rebecca Minkoff Edie Maxi bag. Um, I have a couple of her bags, none of her, like, newer styles. This is one of her newer, by newer, I mean just a couple years old old styles that's like one of her most popular styles um this color is from fall 2021 so yes some of the styles you're gonna see there are not necessarily brand new styles it could be a season or two uh but you know classic this is a classic quilted chevron um it's a little puffy not super duper puffy but a little puffy i love the color the color is called Viola and look you guys it came like fully fully wrapped like you can't go wrong with that um it has a little snap there so you don't have to undo this snap it it came with the dust bag Rebecca Minkoff dust bag I have that um tags still attach and this, let's see if I can show you guys a better. This bag retailed for $3.98, which she still has these on her website. She still has these on her website for $398. And it is called the Edie Maxi Shoulder in the color Viola like a violet purple color which I think is beautiful I'm not really a fan of pink I don't know why even since I was a little girl me and pink didn't really get along so as I've gotten older um, I gravitated to purple that's like my girly color so let me take it all out it came fully fully stuffed which was really good they did have some bags that were like I guess people had already taken the stuffing out or whatever, uh, but this one's fully stuffed, fully wrapped, and I love me some <laughs> silver hardware. Um, I used to be the person who disliked gold, and I never wore anything gold. Even in a bag, I wouldn't like, if it had gold hardware, I wouldn't buy it, <laughs> I wouldn't use it, but as I've gotten older, you know, I'm more open to gold tones, uh, but I still love me some silver. Ugh. Okay, so there it is. She is a shoulder bag. She is quite a good size. Um, they did have one called the Edie Shoulder XL, like extra large bag in my video. I tried it on. It was a nylon. I love the color and the bag was just, I think, a little too, too big. And because of the material, I thought it might be a little too floppy and like just kind of sag. So I went with the leather. Um, all her large bags were $100, but I was there the last day. So I got an extra 20% off. So this bag was $80. <sighs> Hello? From $398 to $80. That's why I love going to sample sales because you could get some really, really awesome deals. A big back pocket with the snap closure. Um, you guys, this color I think is summer color, fall color, spring color. Um, I'm very, very excited. Okay, now that I took out all the stuffing, it's not as heavy. I thought, oh my gosh. This might be a little too heavy. Um, so you can adjust it like that if you want to wear it, um, I guess, as a crossbody. I don't think this is really going to be a good crossbody for me because, you know, because I'm a bit of a, of a curvier lady here, but um, that's okay. 
I might be able to, you know, find a little hack later, but I love it. I love the color. I love the style. I am definitely a fan. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to use this bag. It's like really, really roomy. Um, it pretty much just has like one large compartment in there and then um, a zipper pocket right there. Zipper, large compartment. It has like kind of like a gray taupey fabric material inside. So I'm very happy. So about $150 I spent between the bag and the shoes. So yeah, if you're ever able to go to a sample sale. So if you're ever able to go to a sample sale, I highly, highly recommend it. You get some great deals. Um, I kind of wish I would have bought another bag now. Now that I'm thinking about it because they had the extra 20% off, but I'm trying to be good guys, but it's just been so hard with all of these awesome deals. So Rebecca Mean Coughs, let me know if you are a fan. What do you think about my purchases? Um, you think I got some good deals or not? I think I got some great deals. Um, $150 for a beautiful leather bag. Um, you know, Rebecca Minkoff is not a luxury designer. She's more of a contemporary designer. And as far as designer goes, she's still kind of newish. She's only been around since about the early 2000s. Uh, but I am a fan. I think she's beautiful. Can't wait to wear it. Um, can't wait to wear these. Uh, what do you guys think? I could wear these shoes in my bag. I'm actually the type of person that doesn't really care about being matchy matchy like my shoes matchy my my um, my bag or makeup or no I just if I love it I wear it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure you have subscribed so you don't miss out I'm trying to do two videos a week um, right now so um, sometimes I miss a video sometimes I don't but um, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Hope you give them a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this bag. Um, I might do a more in-depth video later just to show you what fits and, and kind of how it's been carrying her. My little Viola bag. Uh, you guys, this color is gorgeous. I really, really love it um but anyways let's not make this any longer so thanks everyone for watching i will see you next time hope you subscribe thumbs up like you know all that youtube stuff so thanks everyone we'll see you guys next time bye